Hey you guys, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, thank you for coming back. So today we'll be going through my empties. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep on watching. But before we go, comment, like, subscribe. Let's get to it. Oh, I don't do empties often because I don't usually have enough, but I have a few I've been accumulating. So let's get through them. There's some skincare and some makeup. And I'm very proud of myself. I've gone through two foundations. So the first one is the Dior Nude Air Serum Detint. And this one is in the shade 030. There is a very tiny bit, but it's already like uh, just past the 12 month mark. So I'm not even gonna try it, especially with a serum like anything liquidy like I try to stick to the um the expiration date I really enjoyed this which was odd because it's so oily feeling it's like a serum let me see if I can nope none there okay here you go I had to go all the way to the tip and then it it's like oily and luminous it gives you luminosity but i really enjoyed it it was just so air like really like it says and you felt like you have nothing on um if you have great skin you'll really enjoy it like i'm ha i have a moment right now between stress and hormonal acne um but this is beautiful i really enjoyed this would I buy it again? Yes. Am I going to now? Absolutely not. I have too many to go through. And if I didn't mention it, if you're interested in this look, I'll link it up here. Um, another foundation I went through, look, and the pump got all nasty, but I did finish it. And this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 220. And I have already repurchased this. Like, I love this and here it is i did already repurchase it but i did go tad darker because this was a tad lighter so this is 220 and i purchased 270. i do love it i will say however towards the end the pump got messed up and i had to keep opening it which is probably why i got this whole messy situation let me put this in the trash so foundation doesn't get everywhere so next let's move on to these Peace out dark spots. These did absolutely nothing for me. Um, this came with 12. So I was like, if by the time I get to the 12th one, I see a difference on just one spot. Like I focused on just this little section here. Did nothing. Absolutely nothing. I hear the acne breakout ones are really good, but these did nothing. Would I repurchase? Absolutely not. Next is my MAC Fix Plus. Love it. Already repurchased. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. So a lot of people misinterpret this for a setting spray, but it's not. It's you, after you've done your foundation, all your powders, you, you spray it on and it like melts your powders in. It's just flawless. And if you're going to like wet a shadow, this is what you want to do it with to get the most oomph out of it. Next is a few skincare items. So this is the Glow Recipe PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. Uh, this is like a deluxe sample size. So I do have like the mini travel size that I use to travel. I had this, which I went through and I already purchased the full size. I really enjoy this. It's just refreshing. I use it in the evenings. I alternate. I don't always use a toner. Um, but when I do, it's this one or a Dermalogica one that I have. Next with Glow Recipe is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist Spray. I love this. I, when I had two sprays left, like I have nothing in here. When I had like two pumps left, I went running to Sephora and bought another one. When I do my evening skincare right before bed, so I'll do my my evening skincare, I'll lay down, 
on the sofa and watch some TV or catch up on the news or watch YouTube. And right before I go to bed, like I just grab this and just freshen up my face. And I just like mentally know I'm ready for bed. I love this stuff. I just bought a brand new one. So, so I do have more skincare than I do, um, than I do makeup. So this is the Dermalogica Special Cleanse Gel. I love this cleanser. This cleanser is amazing for me. Like it gives me that deep clean, but it doesn't give you that tight, you over dried your skin, like over cleansed it and dried it out feeling. It's just beautiful to the point that I bought the big one with the pump. I love this stuff. Next is the the inkyless hyaluronic acid so i did enjoy this it was a little too watery for my liking i am currently trying one from pericone md um so i got a set and it came with like a day serum and then a night and the day has hyaluronic acid in it the night does not so i'm using the 111 skin hyaluronic acid so i have not repurchased this it, i will say it it is budget friendly it works it gives you the hydration you're looking for from a hyaluronic acid so if you're looking for something cost effective it is great i've just received quite a few hyaluronic acids in my um boxy charm so i'm trying to go through those sticking with the inky list the retinol i did repurchase this before i purchased my pericone md set um so my pericone md set the one i was just referring to the night the night serum and moisturizer has retinol in it so i have not been using both i've been using the pericone one and this one i do have on backup so next is the olay regenerous whip and this is empty uh, moisturizer i really enjoy this in the summer when i'm excessively oily this just gives me all the moisture that i want without like getting excessively oily throughout the day i don't know how this i don't know how this does it but it does it i used it all summer and i already have another one waiting for next summer like i haven't even opened it it's just ready and waiting Next is a mascara. This is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. You guys, I don't know why people do not talk about this. First of all, your lashes, it is volumizing and lengthening, but more volumizing than lengthening, which is what I like. But you're, when you swipe this through your lashes, your lashes literally look this shape like this outer corner it just wisp out a lot further than the rest of it had i not worked at sephora seasonally and got this in gratis which is like when you get uh free products to try from brands i probably would have never tried this but this is amazing here's the little g they do mark it, let you know that you got it for free so you can't try to return it, all this stuff. I love this. Have I repurchased it? I have not because I'm on a no buy, but will I? Absolutely, absolutely. If you guys are new to my channel, I do not recommend a mascara often. It is difficult for me to fall in love with a mascara. This is it for me. Next, we will go to not skincare it's not makeup it's a beauty tool that i mentioned in another video but quite frankly why does anybody even have these so these are morphe brushes that came in a boxy charm and honestly i ripped into them in that video but honestly these are just awful they're absolutely awful. Like, I called them back scratchers. These are going straight to the trash. Or I might just give them to my daughter to play with. With her, like, kitty makeup. But 
I've never owned a Morphe brush prior to this, nor do I plan on it. So next are these Fenty matchsticks. These are not empty, you guys, but I didn't enjoy them not one bit. Like these are practically brand new and they're going in the trash, like brand new. So this one is in the shade Porcelain and it's like a bright, like to brighten your under eye. I didn't enjoy it, like it tugs. Like I don't want anything tugging on anything that wrinkles easily. I'm just saying, like I'm trying to preserve it and not tug on it. And then this one was is Coco, which I bought more of like to contour bronze. Again, it tugs and look, brand new. So I, I just can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. I didn't enjoy them. I'm sorry, they're just not for me. So next is another, two more makeup items. This is the Sephora Color Corrector in Bright Future. Like this is empty, empty. I loved this. So now like my hyperpigmentation is controlled to the point where I could use my spot concealer, but before it was so bad that I had to correct and then spot conceal and then foundation. So yes, I enjoyed this. Hopefully I never need it again. And last is this Brow Contour Pro. Yes, you can have a snack. Your peanut butter and jelly sandwich is in the microwave. She hears me recording. She's just yelling. So this is, like I was saying, the Benefit Broke Brow Contour Pro. And now motorcycles going by like... So I didn't enjoy this. Um and I would never repurchase it. I did use it all because I paid for it. Um, this wasn't as bad as the, oh, I forget. I gifted it. The Benefit Brow Pencil. I'll, put, I'll pop a picture up here of which one I'm referring to, but I gifted it. I used it one time and I gifted it. It was too waxy. My oil seeped through and like my brow shifts like what where, where is she going where is she going i need them i need them to stay in place so yes this did the trick but is it my favorite no will i repurchase it no that okay you guys that's it so i hope that helps if you guys are thinking about purchasing any of those items or you were on the fence i hope that helps so until next time bye